Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This will be for March 26th through April 1st, 2018. So this will just be a brief reading to look at, you know, the overall energies you will be experiencing this week and any advice to navigate any challenging energies that might be springing up for you. So let's draw a house card to see what house of your zodiac chart is most likely to be highlighted this week, which would mean, you know, where the biggest thing, your biggest focus for the week. All right, so we have the 11th house. So this week you might really be focused on something you really want to manifest, a wish that you want to that you want to come true or something that you have really been working towards or hoping for has uh, the energy to manifest for some of you this week with the 11th house. Um, also, you might feel that you are a bit more lucky this week and you might have a lot of social activities going on as well. So that's not a bad house to be highlighted. Let's see what the other cards have to say though. So I'm going to pull to um, House of the Night, Wisdom House of the Night to see what um, themes are playing out this week. So we know it's about the 11th house, but let's get some more information. All right, so we have loyalty and we have the warrior. So Sagittarius, you are really, um, it looks like you're really focused on friendships. Because with loyalty and the warrior, loyalty is really like, what am I giving into something? What am I receiving from something? You know, if somebody trusts in you and believes in you, don't do anything to jeopardize that trust. You know, and if you, if somebody has your trust, you don't want them to jeopardize that either. And the warrior is all about putting your heart and soul into something. So because the 11th house entails a couple different things, for some of you, this really is about a goal that you've been working on that your heart and soul has been in. Like you've just put everything into it and something about this week brings some sort of fruition to that, okay? For others of you, um, you might just be, you might have a lot of friends in need and just asking you, you know, to be there, to do this, to do that. Um, some of you might be asking friends to help you. It just, with these two cards, um, and you might have a hard time saying no if favors are asked of you or, um, hey, come to my party, hey, come to this. You won't really want to go, but it's like you have to go. You, you might owe a favor or just because of the loyalty that you do have towards that person. So it's just like whatever you are involved with with this 11th house, 11th house, whether it's like a wish, something you really want, or something to do with your friendships and social interactions, you're going to be diehard and quite um, dedicated to it this week. That is for sure. So let's hard to see what is in your favor this week and what might challenge you this week. All right, nice. Um, and very interesting that this card came out because along with um, locked doors can now be opened, like where you've been having obstacles, finally the path is cleared. This goes, this is such a double entendre and so perfect for this reading. So this goes back to this dream, wish, this goal that you've been putting your heart and soul into. Like it's finally you have the key to move through 
um, the obstacle, you have, you know, what you need. But also, those of you that this is about, you know, friendships and social activity, this is an actual reiteration of saying when somebody has placed trust and confidence in you, do not um, do anything to jeopardize that. And this also is like what's owed to you, like you're, they will have your back, you know, you are protected this week because this is what is in your favor, what is going, you know, in the best interest of you, your magic for Sagittarius. So this might be um, a challenge for you. This is either, you know, news from quite a distance away or something to do with healing. So you may receive news from a friend who lives at a distance and it might, you know, not be good news about their health, okay? Just because of what's highlighted here. And um, as far as like your own health goes, you know, this is just general reading, so I guess that could factor. But this being the 11th house, I really feel like this is more about somebody else, not you. It's a friend or a acquaintance in your social gathering, something along those lines. It's You may receive information this week about their health or, you know, some. it just might not be good news. And because this is a challenge, uh, it's definitely going to impact you. So for some of you, that is a message. Now, for others of you, it does not have to be in regards to health, okay? This right here could just be a message, you know, from a friend who lives far away, like maybe a certain event is going to be canceled, like perhaps they were planning a wedding and um, them and their fiance have called things off, so now that's no longer going to be on your social calendar or, you know, maybe something you thought that you had booked your reservation really didn't go through, you know, something like that. And this is Mercury retrograde, so <laughs> news from afar that doesn't put a smile on your face is, you know, kind of the energy of the season, but I really feel like this is more about somebody you know rather than personally affecting you. So... Let's move on. Let's pull some tarot just to see how, you know, this is going to unfold this week for you personally. Somebody from afar uh, might actually ask you, you know, to come be with them um, and help them through a sickness that they need to mend from or you know something like that but this being a challenge it's just um, it, it could even be like maybe somebody in your family is having a child you know they're having a baby this week and you really want to get out there to see them and you want to be there but you know it's just going to be really hard and complicated for you um, to adjust your schedule it could also be something like that All right, so we have Judgment, Four of Wands reversed, and the Sun reversed. Okay, yeah. So I feel like a lot of um, the social interactions with friends or just a different events that you are invited to or have to go to or have to attend, like, you really don't want to do that. Like, you don't. You don't have any interest in that okay um but with judgment here it's like you're going to be loyal you're going to put your heart and soul into whatever you know is being asked of you this week because it's just like you don't want to let anybody down like you feel that really strongly um also those of you where this achievement or this goal or wish is coming to fruition this week this um, has everything to do with your own karma, your own energy. And honestly, I feel like this is where where there was no longer balance and, you know, things were 
in the darkness, like you weren't sure about how things were going to move forward, like that's the energy that's changing. Like judgment sitting here is saying these energies are now dissipating and that's what this key is about. Okay, so let's um, pull some overall advice for you guys because it just looks like um, totally split for Sagittarius. Like half of you are getting something, you know, that you've been working on really hard and the other half of you it's just like your life is all about your friends or you know trying to fulfill different obligations to different people and also in doing so you might be feeling like you know who's there for me okay and with this news from afar maybe it's like you have been there for somebody you've been being there for somebody you were very loyal you know you did everything you needed to do and now you call in the favor and they're like oh I can't help you so some of you you know that might be what's going on but if you already know that then at least like when it happens you aren't like uh but you know even at that you guys are I love that this is what's going in your favor because that's what's going in everybody's favor. Something is, you know, an obstacle is being removed from your path this week. It could be big, it could be little. This is general, so it'll be different for all. So Sagittarius, let's wrap this up and pull a card for advice. And of course, all these decks are listed in the description below this video. So the dream, something is revealed, insight, breakthrough. How perfect is this? This is saying to you, Sagittarius, pay um, much attention to your dreams because there's information coming to you. It could be inspirations. It could be how to remove this obstacle. It could be the solution you've been looking for. Okay, um, for others of you, this is 100% um, connected to this card right here, which might challenge you. It's, you know, somebody may give you some information and it's going to be honest and truthful and it's going to fill in all the missing pieces, so to speak, which will give you the insight and breakthrough that you've needed. But, you know, that's not always in the way that we had hoped, you know, for that breakthrough. But, this, as your advice, is this week something is definitely being revealed to you. And that is kind of iterated, you know, throughout this reading. Um, pay attention to your insight. Pay attention to your dreams. Really pay attention to what trusted um, confidants tell you. Do not do anything to jeopardize anything that you are told in confidence. Okay, that's just the biggest thing I can iterate here. And, you know... What's on your side is this key. So Sagittarius, that is your guidance for this week. I hope that you have found this helpful, and I'm wishing you a very beautiful and blessed week ahead. Take care.